Hey everybody, thought I'd come on today. Uh, I have a lot of people that ask me, man, how you do your dressing? How you do your dressing? Well, this is how I does my dressing. I got two pans of cornbread in my little cheap pan from the Walmart here. And it's just how I do it, man. Just how I do it. And everybody, well, you're not using chicken broth that you made. No, I'm not. I'm using canned. Uh, I don't like messing with whole chickens. They're kind of nasty when you boil them. Got the skin and the veins and the gristle and all that. I, I just, I'd, I'd rather not deal with that. So, about five, six cans of chicken broth. And again, this is how I do it. It might not be the right way, but it's how I do it. And I ain't had no complaints. I like to get it all brothed up real good, just a little bit here. At least start about. I don't know, you want enough to cover it so it starts getting ooey gooey. Uh, that's five cans right there. Uh, I'm probably going to add that sixth one. I might just wait a minute. Let me get some other stuff put in it. But I got my onions, bell pepper, celery, and garlic. I done sauteed it down real good. I, you don't want crunchy dressing. That's, I don't know. Almost a bunch of uh, celery, uh, two small onions, and a bell pepper, and I don't know, dollop two of garlic. And I just put it in there like that. That's how I do it. And I stir it around a little bit, stir it around. I see now I'm going to need that other can of broth. And uh, I like to do it and let it sit. Go ahead and put whatever seasoning you're going to put in it. Let it sit 30, 45 minutes. I've been on to do it for an hour. And it gets a better consistency. I think it does anyway. I like it. It eats better in my opinion. And just break up the bigger pieces. And I cooked this cornbread the other night. You know, old cornbread makes better dressing. That's what Mama always said. So that's just kind of how I roll Grandma and Mama ain't never lied. Even if they did, they was good about it, kept it from me. So, about like that's how you want it. About like that. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and take the black pepper. And I'm just going, I put it in there pretty good. I like black pepper. And uh, stir it around a little bit. I might put a little bit more in a minute. Now this here is what uh, a lot of people don't like, but I like it. Get a little bit of that sage, and I just throw that sage to it. I don't act scared of it. About that much right there. And I just stir it around real good. Stir it around. And uh, I'm going to let it sit. I don't put my eggs in it before I let it sit. I just let it sit. Then when I get ready to put it in the oven, I put four, maybe five eggs. I've heard people putting more. I, I, I don't want to, you know, have dressing cake. Uh, but I'm going to stir it around a bit. Like I say, as it soaks that broth in, it's going to get break that cornbread up. The cornbread will break up. Oh, it smells delicious just delicious but uh that's how I do it then I got my chicken that I it's boneless skinless breast yeah because I'm picky I don't like veins in my chicken I don't like gristle I'm picky and I'm gonna dump that in there and it'll break up yeah, it'll break up pretty easy and then just rotate it around in there I don't like a whole lot of chicken I think that's four breasts three four breasts I'm going to let it sit in there with them seasonings. About 45 minutes to an hour. Then I put my eggs in it. And I put it in the oven. And I cook it on 350 for about, I don't know, I'm guessing about an hour. Until it gets done. Uh, and when it gets done, it's going to brown on top a little bit. And, uh, I like to be able to poke in there with a fork and not see no liquid standing. Uh, that's just how I like it. And I might add a little bit more chicken broth to it before I put it in there and see just how much it soaks up. But anyway, there it is. That's the gist of it. Just 
kind of easy. It ain't like you got to boil a whole chicken out of one and then sit there at the table and debone it and pick through the mess. That's got to be one of the nastiest things you could do. But anyway, there it is. I hope everybody has a merry, merry, and a happy, happy. Merry Christmas. Enjoy your day. This is what we're going to be munching on here after a while. Uh, I ain't been I ain't been posting in a while. I just had a lot going on. Y'all can see that's soaking up. If that's going to break up more, I'll let it soak. I'm just going to let it soak. Then add my eggs to it. And uh, put it in the oven and let it cook down. And that's going to be some good stuff right there. I guarantee it. But anyway, y'all have a good day. See y'all next time. All right, then.